Today we're going to take an ordinary dashboard and make it rock. The dashboard lights in my Jeep are pretty boring, just plain white backlights. So let's change that. But first, we need to pull that dashboard cluster out. In the case of my Jeep, I had a panel below where I put my garage door opener hack and another panel right above that, they just popped out. Then using a socket screwdriver, I removed two screws that held a trim panel in. Then four screws held the dashboard cluster in place. When that was free, there was three wiring harnesses I had to pop out and my dashboard cluster is set free. And off to the shop we go. And now the fun begins. Time to get inside that dashboard cluster to the circuit board. There were tabs all the way around that I released, which allowed me to pull off the bezel. More tabs that freed up the back of the housing. Then it's time to pop out the four gauge needles. But first I put some sticky sided paper underneath the needle and then made a mark to make sure everything was aligned when I put it back together. Then using a couple of screwdrivers, the needles popped off, literally. I popped the insert out and then the trim ring. And I did this for all four needles. Now that whole top assembly pulls right off the circuit board and it's time to find our LEDs. Now these are circuit mount LEDs, they're really small, and in my case, the yellow ones were actually the white LEDs. I identified a total of six that I'd be removing and replacing, so time to get to it. Now I'm going to be replacing those plain white ones with these super bright blue SMD LEDs. They are tiny, but put off a super bright blue light. So I carefully heated up the solder under the old LEDs, released them, and then added a little bit more solder to each of the pads. Then it was just a matter of lining up the new LEDs, making sure the negative notch is in the correct place, and soldered the new ones in place. And while I was in here, I removed that pesky seatbelt warning light. I really don't need a light telling me if I'm wearing my seatbelt. Now at this point, it might be a good idea to take that raw board out to your car, plug in the harnesses, and make sure all your LEDs are working. Everything was fine, so it was time to put it all back together. Oh, I took a second to clean a couple of those displays because they got smudged during my work. I snapped the panels back in place, reinstalled the needles, and gave the bezel a quick clean before I put that in place. Then I took it back out, plugged in the wiring harnesses, and reinstalled the dashboard cluster. And now, my new blue dashboard LED lights. They look really cool, and of course the intensity is adjustable. Oh, and I also changed out my turn signal indicators. I made those blue too. Well, there you have it. That's how to hack your dashboard display and make it light up the color you want. I love making videos for you, and my friends at Audible.com help make that possible. In fact, Kip K fans can get a free download right now so you can try it out. Audible.com has over 150,000 audiobooks that you can listen to on your phone, iPod, e-reader, tablet, or even your computer. There's nothing like Audible.com. Great audiobooks in all kinds of categories. We just recently went on a road trip and listened to Tina Fey's Bossy Pants, a truly hilarious book. So, after watching this video, head over to audible.com and pick out your free audiobook. Go to audible.com slash kipk to get your free download. Thanks for supporting my show, and we'll see you next time.